How to Spend 5 Days in Algarve, Portugal Are you looking for the perfect 5-day road trip in Algarve? Then look no further, because in this video, I will show you all the must-see destinations, what to do and more. On this 5-day road trip, I will take you to some of the most stunning places in the region, from secret beaches and hidden coves to historic towns and hilltop villages. We'll also be visiting some of the most popular stop-off points such as Lagos and Faro, plus plenty of other attractions along the way. Plus, I'll be giving you all my top tips for making your trip as enjoyable as possible. So if you're ready, let's go! Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, we post new content every week and would love to have you join us in our exploration of the world. Day 1 Arrive in Faro Drive to Carvoeiro Faro To begin your trip to the Algarve, fly to Faro. The region's capital, Faro Airport, has numerous connections to Lisbon and other major European cities, making it the primary gateway to the area. Alternatively, you can do opt to fly to Lisbon and then drive to the Algarve, which is approximately a 2.5-hour journey. When you reach Faro Airport, rent a car from one of the many car rental companies available at affordable prices. We got our car from 6th for only 18 euros per day but do keep in mind that winter months have lower prices. Although Faro is the capital of the region, it would be better to head west immediately and explore other fascinating locations in the Algarve instead of spending too much here. Carvoeiro To start your Algarve road trip, head to Carvoeiro, which is a charming coastal town only 40 minutes from Faro. You will discover picturesque white houses, multiple dining options, stunning vistas of the Atlantic Ocean, and a tranquil atmosphere here. You can visit the stunning Praia do Carvoeiro beach in this town. It is golden sand and clear turquoise water and is an excellent spot for relaxation. However, during July and August, it can be pretty crowded. You can hike up to the viewpoints on the cliffs surrounding the beach to get amazing views of the Praia do Carvoeiro. Don't forget to take a walk along Carvoeiro Boardwalk, which is a cliff-top walkway hugging the jagged coastline of the Algarve. Along the way, you can enjoy beautiful coastal scenery with rock formations, sinkholes, and natural arches. The ideal time for the walk is during sunset as the views are incredible. Day 2 The Seven Hanging Valleys Trail, Banigal Cave, and Praia da Marina On the second day of this Algarve itinerary, you will go on a coastal hike to explore sea caves and beautiful sun-drenched beaches. The Seven Hanging Valleys Trail is a stunning hike in the Algarve that offers breathtaking views of the cliffs and the ocean. It begins at Praia do Valle de Sintianes Beach, which is located near Carvoeiro, and ends at Praia de Marina Beach. To avoid walking in hot midday sun, it's best to start the hike early in the morning, especially during summer. Binagal Cave Make sure to visit Binagal Cave while hiking the Seven Hanging Valleys Trail, as it's one of the most famous attractions in the Algarve. The cave is a large limestone sea cave with a hole in its ceiling only accessible by sea. To enter the cave, you'll need to rent a kayak or a sup from Binagal Beach. Alternatively, you can take a boat tour from Portimao or Lagos if you prefer not to kayak or sup. Praia de Marina The Seven Hanging Valleys Trail leads to Praia de Marina, a breathtakingly beautiful beach that has been ranked among Europe's top beaches. The beach boasts amazing rock formations yellow cliffs and blue-green water. If you need a break after hiking, this is the perfect place to relax. You can also grab some food from the small cafe on the beach or the food trucks in the parking lot. Day 3 The Cliffs and Beaches Around Lagos For your third day of the Algarve road trip, make a 40-minute drive from Carvoeiro to Lagos. Lagos is a charming town in the Algarve that many tourists enjoy visiting. You can explore the stunning cliffs and beaches nearby, as well as check out the historical old towns of Lagos. Lagos Beaches To begin your day, I suggest visiting some stunning beaches just outside of Lagos. 
One of these, Praia dos Estudantes, is a small cove that is protected by ochre-colored cliffs. You can reach it through a man-made tunnel carved into the rock. The beach is unique because it has a Roman-style bridge that connects two cliffs. Although it's an enjoyable place to explore, I recommend not spending too much time here as the other beaches are even more picturesque. Ponta da Pidiade One of the highlights of the Algarve itinerary is the Ponta di Pidiade, a magnificent headland with dramatic rock formations, grottoes, and arches shaped by natural elements over thousands of years. There are various trails and boardwalk along the cliffs with awe-inspiring views in every direction. It was my favorite place in the region and I recall being amazed by the incredible scenery. After exploring the beaches, you may walk or drive to Ponta di Pidiade. Lagos Town You can enjoy your evening by visiting the charming old town of Lagos. It is recommended to stroll through the narrow streets, appreciate the vibrant tile facade, admire the traditional whitewashed houses, and relax in the pleasant squares. Make sure to stop by the notable landmarks such as the Church of Santo Antonio, Ponta de Bandera Fortress, the medieval town walls and the Slave Trade Museum. In Lagos Old Town, there are many shop bars and restaurants, although some of them may be closed during winter. Don't forget to taste local seafood dishes like the Cataplana, which is a stew served in a large metal pot. One great recommendation is to try the Cataplana at a small traditional restaurant called Casina do Pitesco. Day 4 Monchek in the Algarve West Coast On the fourth day of your Algarve road trip, you'll visit the mountains in the interior of the region and explore the wild and rugged west coast of Algarve. Monchik. If you want to explore a different and less touristy part of the Algarve, consider visiting the Serra de Monchik Mountains. The drive from Lagos takes around 45 minutes and offers a contrasting landscape to the coast. The climate is cooler and more humid here, and the vegetation is lush with citrus orchards, cork oak forest, and eucalyptus groves covering the rolling green hills. Pontal de Carapatera on your Algarve itinerary, the next stop is the Costa Vicentina, the rugged west coast of Algarve. This area is a nature reserve and is less developed than the south coast, preserving its natural and wild beauty. To get here from Monchic, you need to drive for about an hour through mountainous terrains and scenic countryside until you reach the Pontal de Carapatera headland. At this location, a circular dirt road spanning 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles is available for visitors. From different viewpoints on this road, you can see secluded beaches and colorful cliffs. This road is a section of the Rota Vicentina Trail, which is well known for being one of the top hikes in the Algarve region. If you're not interested in hiking, you can still drive to the viewpoints. Sagres and Cabo de São Vicente Drive south to Sagres from Ponta de Carapatera. This popular surf town is famous for its long sandy beaches and the 17th century Sagres fortress that was used to defend it from raiders from North Africa. While in Sagres, be sure to visit the Cabo de São Vicente, also known as the Cape of St. Vincent. This bleak wide-swept headland is the most southwestern point of continental Europe and was commonly believed to be the end of the world up until the 13th century. Day 5 Drive Back to Faro On the final day of your Algarve itinerary, begin driving towards Faro. If you have enough time before your flight, you may be able to fit in some activities to see more charming Portuguese towns. You could visit Ferragundo or Tavira. These towns are quaint fishing villages with cobblestone streets traditional houses and a relaxed ambiance. While I didn't have the opportunity to visit them myself, I've heard only positive things about them. If you want to go to the beach, you can visit Praia dos Tres Hermaus for its breathtaking rock formations or Praia Albandera to see a tremendous rock arch. The Algarve Portugal's southern gem is a perfect spot for an adventurous road trip with stunning beaches lively towns and natural attractions at every turn. This fascinating scenic route provides an unforgettable experience that you will cherish for years to come. 
I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Also, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below.